I'm speechless with these, Tim. Yeah. I've, I've used these before, I've slept in them before. I love the Travel Lander. I really do love the Travel Lander. Well, with the DC4, mate, she is clean and smart. I love the fact that it, it is so compact, yet so roomy. It's, mate, with a U-bound situation that we've got here, we've got one of the biggest beds. Yeah. In the competition. Yep, and it's, the, the one thing that I love about this competition mm. is we can actually step back over the few years now mm. and actually watch the development of product. Mm. And this product has developed quite considerably from the models we saw quite a few years ago. Yep. But you know what? Things are getting greater. Little things like new step mouldings. Yeah. A change in a lot of the galley unit as well, where yep. we've got a lot more bench space. Yep. A lot of the bits and pieces that we've perhaps said about things over the years have now been addressed and come up with a much better mousetrap. And what I do love about Travel Lander is there is some big, big changes. Mm. And stuff that you go, well, okay, this you couldn't have done this without new technology. Exactly. And, and the first step is doing away with the gas altogether. No LPG gas on this unit. Mm. Big lithium batteries, you don't need gas anymore. The, of course, a metho cooker on the, on the stove top. Mate, I've had Perfect. metho cookers on boats for 30 years and never had a drama with them. Mate, they get hot, they get hot quick, yep. and, they, and you burn nothing. And you know what? If it's actually really badly windy, blowing inclement, whatever the case may mm. be, or if you want to lift it out of its mounting bracket and move it over onto the picnic table to cook somewhere else, mm. you can do it. That's the function of it. You don't have to disconnect the gas bottles. You don't have to carry a gas bottle with you. Mm. So little bits and pieces like that have been really well thought out. And a little bit of back to basics never hurt anyone either. And I don't think so either, Bear. I'm with you on that because I love the fiberglass work in this. Yep. And the, the bench tops are all fiberglass, so easy to wipe down. So quick to put away and moulded within an nth degree. So everything just like compacts on itself. Yep. I love it. I love it so much. We've been talking also and, and had a look at some hard floor campers. Yeah. And with the Travelander, the way this one uh, comes over, you've got that raised hard floor, which again, as we've said before, is so good for keeping things cleaner. Oh. You can sweep it out just so easily, but you're above all the ants and spiders and snakes and you all the rest bet. of the bits and pieces we've got in the Australian bush. And mate, let's face it, the shower setup on this travel lander, mate, it is so intelligent because a lot of the camper trailers we've looked at in this competition, and we're talking top line camper mm. trailers, this is one of the very few that you can step out of the shower onto the raised floor. Exactly. We've got two new drawers in the DC4, but actually you can open from either the outside, pull right out, or the inside and pull right out. So it's really functional. The tent is just so easy. Mm. It just goes up so easy and so do all the awnings and it's all wax converters Australian canvas. Mm. And I might tell you, no winding, no mechanism. What is it? No, no wrenching, grinding, struggling in the wind. <laughs> is it's it called, a wand? It's a remote control. Oh! I simply press the button and stand back and watch this whole thing erect. It really is a magic wand. It is a magic wand. <laughs> what sort of electrics are we running here? There's a lot of electrics. You've got full plug-in 240. Yep. You've got the lithium battery, as we said. We mentioned. And we've also got a 600 watt inverter. And the beauty of the 600 watt inverter, mm. you can run all sorts of things like you're recharging your batteries and computers along the way. But guess what? <laughs> I can make you a cuppa with our espresso machine. No. Don't you just love that? I certainly do. <laughs> love I know that. the way you like your morning well, coffee. But, but in the cold weather. We're not powering it with electricity. No, and we haven't not. got the gas anymore, so where do we go? Webasto diesel heater. Oh, nice. And that's hot water and the heater all in one. This is a completely different camper trailer than the one we looked at last year. It certainly is, which is great. Isn't it? it? The evolution of a product, it's great to see. Great to see.